Solving quadratics by factoring. To solve quadratic equations by factoring, there are three simple steps, most of which we've already actually done. Step one, factor the quadratic equation. Step two, set each factor equal to zero. And step three, solve for each, for the variable. For these examples, we're going to solve by factoring. We have 0 equals x squared minus 4x minus 12. So the first thing we want to do is factor. So 0 equals our factors. This is quadratic. So we just factor it out like we know how to do it. x and x. The second sign is negative, so that means the signs are going to be different. One's plus, one's net minus. And then we have to figure out our numbers multiply together to get negative 12 add together to get 4x negative 4x so factors of 12 are 1 times 12 3 times 4 and 2 times 6 those are my factors of 12 so one of those pairs should be it and if I use 1 and 12, I cannot subtract to get a negative 4. If I use 3 and 4, I cannot subtract to get a negative 4. So it must be 6 and 2. So since it's a negative here, I know it's going to have to be the bigger number with the negative. So negative 6 and positive 2. And then if I FOIL it back out, I will find out that that is correct. And now I just set each one equal to 0. So that's going to be x plus 2 equals 0, or x minus 6 equals 0. And then I just solve each one, subtract the 2. x equals negative 2, or I add the 6, x equals positive 6. So those would be my two possible answers. In this next example, I have 0 equals x 3x squared plus 18x. So the first thing I'm going to do is look, what do they both have in common? So in each of these terms, there's an x, but there's also a factor of 3. So I can factor out a 3x, and then that's going to leave me with what? Well, that's going to leave me with just an x here, because if I distribute it back in, that would be 3x times x, which is 3x squared plus when I multiply uh, 3x by a 6, I get 18x. So that means that my factor is 3x times the quantity x plus 6. So I set each of these equal to 0. 3x equals 0 and x plus 6 equals 0. And then I just solve. So I'm going to divide by 3. So x equals 0 divided by 3 is 0. Or I'm going to subtract the 6 minus 6. x equals negative 6. So my two answers are 0 or negative 6. In this last example, we have to solve by factoring. So we first need to get everything on one side of the equal sign. And that's going to be 4 x squared minus 25 equals 0. So this one doesn't, there's no clear cut way to start, but if I know my perfect squares, my perfect squares are 1, 1 squared is 1, uh, 2 and 4, because 2 squared is 4, 9, because 3 squared is 9, 16, 4 squared is 16, 25, 5 squared is 25, 36, and so on. So those are my perfect squares. So if I have any of those, then I can work out my difference of squares. It, we need to remember that the difference of squares tells us that if we have a squared minus b squared, then that is equal to a minus b times a plus b. So that's what I actually have here. If I consider my a squared, or my a to be 2x, 
2x squared is 4x squared minus 5 squared equals 0. So now I can see that I have a difference of squares with a equal to the 2x and b equal to the 5. So how I'm going to break that up is I'm going to put my a minus my b and then multiply it times my a plus my b. So that would be 2x minus 5 times 2x plus 5 equals 0. And then I just set each of them equal to 0. So that would be 2x minus 5 equals 0 or 2x plus 5 equals 0. So sub add the 5 over and 2x equals 5 divided by 2, x equals 5 halves. Or subtract the 5 over, 2x equals negative 5, then we divide by 2, and x equals negative 5 over 2. So those would be my final answers for this problem. So we need to recall what our difference of squares is. Those are your notes over solving quadratic equations by factoring. Go through the practice problems, make sure that you can do the factoring method, and then watch the next couple videos before you take your solving quadratic equations quiz.